Welcome back! Something relaxing in between. A simple mailbag, just yeah, one bag from, of course, China. And it contains, uh, okay, need some tools here. Uh, <laughs> a wrapper. And inside the wrapper, it contains an ESD baggie. And inside the ESD baggie, it contains huh, a little uh, high frequency antenna and a little module. Let's have a closer look. So what we have here is a GPS antenna. Uh, if you never seen that thing <laughs> before, uh, this side is up. Okay, uh, the micro BNC connector. I don't know what the exact name for that is. And of course we have a, that little connector here also on the board because it contains uh, U blocks Neo N8 N010 GPS receiver. Yeah, and uh, this seems to be an original part. Uh, the module, of course, is from China, and yeah, just from looking at it at this scale, there's a little flash memory here. Probably an SPI or I squared C flash, a backup battery, okay, holder, and uh, some additional circuitry. Um, yeah, let's have a closer look. So yeah, it's a little GPS module, uh, GY-GPSV3-NEO, because it's all made for the NEO 8 M8N series, and you can get that with a uh, Neo 6M, which is obsolete, a uh, Neo 7M, which is obsolete, or a uh, Neo M8N like that here. Uh, these ones <laughs> are cheaper. I mean, they are just buying off old stock and uh, soldering it on. I think these thingies, uh, since they are still sold, they are a little bit more expensive, so that board cost me around, including the antenna, uh, 10 euros inclusive, uh, inclusive shipping. Um, I'll show you the listing in the end. Uh, we have our, sorry, our antenna connector right here. If I look at the traces, this is another, yeah, some three pads, I think two ground and another in the middle antenna. Uh, another option to connect an antenna. We have that little flash here and I can't really out uh, make out the markings. We would have to break out the microscope, I guess. A backup battery for the receiver. Is that soldered in? Uh, yeah, looks like it. So not quite easy to replace, but well, anyway, it's there. Uh, then we have uh, your normal 0.1 inch uh, pin header thingy here, or without the pin header itself, ground, VCC, and then RXTX for a serial connection or serial communication with that GPS module. And that's supposed to be a voltage regulator, I guess, uh, down from five volts or whatever you put in here to 3.3 volts or less, because uh, these U blocks, Neo M8Ns, they run on 3.3 volts or less, I think down to two volts. Uh, I have to look up the data sheet, just a second. Just for future reference, that thing is not really big. So that board is well, 26 millimeters by 36 millimeters. And the antenna that was over here, that's 
Yeah, 25 millimeters square. That's the usual size for these GPS antennas. Okay, uh, data sheet. Okay, data sheet of that Ublox module on that module. So we're talking about the Neo M8N and that's a standard precision. It can do GPS, GLOSNAS, Galileo and Baidu and can do three of them in parallel and the operating voltage is 2.7 to 3.6 volts. And it got an UART, so the serial interface, we saw that on the pin header, but it also got USB and SPI, which is not available on the pin header, but you can always <coughs> break out your soldering iron. And I squared C, great. Uh, it's programmable, a uh, flash, but we also saw it has an external flash, whatever that is about, data logging. Uh, additional saw, uh, that's an input filter for the GPS uh, high frequency signal, additional yeah, LNA, low noise amplifier also for the GPS signal input, RTC crystal, okay, uh, that's good, and the oscillator is a T-type, that's a temperature controlled crystal oscillator. No built-in antenna and so on, uh, but built-in antenna supply and supervisory time pulse. Okay, time pulse, so something will be blinking. And it's professional grade. Not quite automotive, but professional grade. And just to get it out of the way, <laughs> that's the label that is shown in the data sheet. And this is the label that is here on my module and yeah, it looks at least very similar. Um, yeah, uh, if it's a fake, it's a good fake. <laughs> and I did in fact break out the microscope. I wanted to see what uh, kind of flash or whatever that is. That's a 24C32, so a 4K times 8-bit EEPROM with an I2C interface. And that other thing here right at the... <laughs> 5 volt or VCC input, I don't know if it's 5 volt, it's labeled S2UE and I cannot find anything about it. I suspect it's a little voltage regulator, maybe low dropout, uh, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Okay, I guess I can't draw it out any longer, so I soldered in a pin header, put it here on a breadboard with an Arduino Nano Every, and uh, I'm powering it now, not yet, but uh, in a second from the 3.3 volt rail of the Arduino, hopefully, and I connected the oscilloscope to the TX pin, which is hopefully the serial output. And now we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at that. It's talking. It's talking to us. But anyway, time scale is uh, 100 microseconds and uh, it says in the manual it will come up at 9,600 bouts and uh, yeah, that's kind of right. Try to single capture something, what it's saying. And it's obviously saying a lot. Yeah, I, I can't even capture everything that I get here. But the important thing here would be the signal level, if that is usable for an Arduino <laughs> at all. And that would be 3.15 volts. And yeah. That should work directly with the input of a 5 volt Arduino. And again, the timing should be 9600 9, bouts. So a little bit more, and that's accurate here, a little bit more than 100 microseconds, you do the math, uh, per bit. Hmm. Let's try something else. Uh, let's try to run that from the 5 volt rail. And that's working too. And our signal level is even a wee bit higher. 
let's say without the noise, 3.29, 3.3 volts. That should be absolutely enough to uh, go into a 5 volt Arduino's digital input. So let's do that. I've connected the TX pin from the module with the RX pin of the Serial 1 interface of my Arduino Nano Every and wrote a little bit of code. If you want to know how to write code for the Serial 1 interface and the Serial interface, I talk about that in uh, RS422 Differential Signaling, the basics part 2, uh, Cartier, link in the description. Use the time index uh, to jump to the interest parts in that video that are not related to RS422. Anyway, let's have a look at the output. And here's the output from that module on the serial monitor of the Arduino. So I won't show the code, maybe later on in a, a detailed review I just forwarding the data that comes in through serial 1 to serial that is the USB serial port and showing it here <laughs> on the Arduino serial monitor. And as it looks like that thing is speaking, sorry, speaking NMIA 0183. Uh, that's NMIA, the National Marine Electronics Association. And uh, this is uh, the standard 0183. That is the messages you see here. I guess these are supposed to be coordinates. Uh, let me stop the auto scroll for a second. 9.99, 9.99, 9.99. I have no GPS reception here. I wonder if that has something to do with the <coughs> metal foiled isolation <laughs> above me in the roof. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. Okay, I'm now standing here at an open window. Uh, I hope you appreciate it. It's winter time and there is uh, some drizzle in the air, some moisture. It's not very nice and uh, yeah, my <laughs> office is cooling out but as you can see we have now <laughs> GPS coordinates so 4845.8835 north 00909.75889 east <laughs> I have no idea how to read that that would be actually another video, I guess. <coughs> Here we have A and North and East. I guess one of them must be the elevation. Yeah, I guess we have to look into that. Uh, but there's another thing I really can't show you because another LED on the board came alive. Mm, just a sec. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have to film that freehand. And you see that green LED there? That's a one second GPS time pulse. Great. Hmm? And that's the test set up at the window. Sorry, still filming freehand. So yes, obviously the little thing is actually working. And now the ones that I had a satellite lock, sometimes it even comes on. Of course not. No. Ah, you saw it blink, you saw it blink. Zoom. There, there. Ah, we have a satellite lock and a time signal indoors. Wow. Uh, yeah, but not really reliably. Um, let's have a look at the eBay listing. And here's the eBay listing, uh, German, but it really doesn't matter, okay? Uh, you find these everywhere, AliExpress, uh, Banggood, whatever. Uh, you know how these boards should look like and I paid for mine with a Neo M8N chip. 
11.33 and uh, 1.79 shipping. It took two or three weeks, I guess. I'm not really sure. But you can get it even cheaper if you go for an old chip that's with a, a obsolete Neo 6M, which will do the job if you just want to have uh, some GPS. And with the small antenna or mini antenna, it's even cheaper. But uh, really, I would go with these big 25 by 25 millimeter antennas. These are the standard antennas for GPS, okay? And that's it for today. An actually working Chinese module with a new blocks Neo 8M N chip on it. And yeah, there will be more videos. I guess we will have decode these uh, NMIA 0183 messages somehow uh, to make sense of the data. Ah. Till next time. Bye.